Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, you're one and only, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of Dragon Riders Bell PvP. Now this is my first PvP I actually recorded for you guys. It's me trying to figure out this whole little PvP setup. I know you post a battle with your mount, and actually this is pre-recorded. It was actually extremely fun. I made an accident and left the little non-existent face cam thing up. I've been trying to like make an outlay for it just in case I ever decide to do face cam but that'll probably be in the near future. I made a mistake and left it up but yeah. So let's talk about um, the event. Our giveaway It's going to be ending tomorrow so you guys are going to need to get your whole information and everything out there so give me your answer and your Emmy game name along with the prize you're aiming for because once that starts I'm not taking anybody else there's at least two people who are gonna be in that giveaway because nobody else is guessed yet so it's up to you guys to get your whole answer and everything up for the giveaway I have a special giveaway coming up for you guys really soon it's for the 250 subscriber milestone but at the moment we're gonna be playing this. Now, you guys saw that I was struggling to figure out which mounts I could use, which ones I couldn't. It appears you can only use your purple mounts inside of Dragon Rider's Veil. I guess it's certain ones you can use. I've been trying to figure out the whole concept of it. This is my first time actually battling in this place, trying to fill out the controls and everything. So later on in the video, I start to actually figure out everything and start to set up my team because that's basically what um, Quintus is all about, is setting up your teammates and letting them get the kills. Now I wasn't really aiming for many kills for myself, but I was trying to help my teammates out to where they can actually get a few kills themselves, you know, I'm pretty sure I stopped with a lot of assists and probably one kill or death. Yeah, I only died once during this whole game. Then I started to get used to the controls and everything. It was really weird to figure out this game mode. But in my experience, this was probably like one of the most funnest PvP that they have, in my personal opinion, because in actual PvP, you would have to have amazing gear, like really strong gear, but in this, you would just have to have a good mount, a good purple mount to actually fight with. So for me, it was my breeded Quintus, which I got from using Apollo and Quintus, just breeding them together and getting this beautiful mount. It was actually really fun. So I'm trying to figure out all my skills and everything. So I, it turns out that my triangle button, which is my charge, just stuns somebody as soon as it like locks onto them. I have to be at a certain distance for it to actually even use. I learned that my circle button does like some kind of wind up attack that like slashes, but it knocks back. It doesn't do anything else than that. It just knocks back. It doesn't stun or anything, it just knocks him back into a corner. I guess that's good for pushing our um, enemies into other allies' attacks. It's actually really fun. <laughs> I did not figure out what my X button did. I know it gave me some kind of buff, but I wasn't sure what that buff was. And my triangle attack is just pretty much my normal attack. I almost died a lot of times, but good thing we had somebody just killing the, the hell out of each other. I think it was this tree guy, or either the unicorn or somebody. I think, yeah, I'm thinking it was the tree guy. I think he's the only one who can actually heal. Oh, no. I think it was that um, bird right there. This was, <laughs> like, really thrilling. 
I was thinking about getting rid of the footage since I made that mistake and left the face cam thing up, so... Yeah, I was like, nah, it's a waste if I just take that down. Because it was actually my first time doing this and actually having fun with their PvP. Now, sadly, this PvP mode doesn't last very long. And I have to wait three hours at this exact moment just to get back into it. Because you guys know that all PvPs are time-based. So you have to be there at a certain time just to catch a certain PvP match. So at the time, Dragon Bell was up and I think it was like 3v3 Trainer was up as well. I wish Dragon Bell was up a lot more because it was really fun and pretty balanced. Pretty balanced. It's just that you had to learn your Dragonmon that you had and had to set up a lot inside of this match. Now, I mostly stay in the back, <laughs> if you guys noticed that. I'm looking for a moment to set up a stun against my team. Well, for my team. This Quintus, I mean this Apollo, kept following me around most of the time trying to kill me. But I managed to get away from him a lot. Now Apollo really isn't all that good because a lot of his moves require the opponent to be stunned or stationary. That's why I took I chose something that could loop around a lot. For Apollo, when he like hits you up in the air, you can actually move in the air to dodge his next attack. But for Quintus, when you charge someone, it actually has a chance of stunning, so you can get ready to use your other attack and set up a teammate to use his attack. That's why I knocked this guy into a corner and then charged him just to double stun him a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out how to um, use other mounts because I was trying to use um, Leo but I actually could not use him at the time. So I believe this match is almost over. I forgot what timer is. Oh, I got two more minutes. Well, this is going to be one awkward commentary. Now, uh, oh yeah, let's talk about the whole situation with the Pokemon Go thing. Like, the reason I did not upload those few days, well, those two days were because me and my friends were out just trying to catch some Pokemons. It was really fun. I don't think we had much sleep that whole entire time. We stayed out like, I don't know, two days straight, only s slept for like, a few hours, then went back out just to uh, catch again. Now, the game is very addicting once you get into it. Like, if you're a big Pokemon fan or played a lot of Pokemon, you'll be really into it. If you never played it before, then yeah, it won't be for you. Not at all, but... A lot of people are saying, oh, it's immature and childish to play the game, but it's actually not. It actually gets a lot more people outside instead of staying in all day. Even do, even before Pokemon Go was even out, I was still outside a little bit. A little bit, but... God, it was fun. Uh, would I do it again? Yeah. I might do like a vlog maybe soon of me outside with my friends just capturing gems and having fun. Maybe. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But we're reaching the end of this whole match. I'll give you guys more of a in-depth like what happened on that day of playing Pokemon Go for two days straight in a later video. In this video we're just gonna be wrapping up right now because the PvP is about to end. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I will try and do a lot more live commentary if I can. If I don't go quiet in the middle of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. And I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever Dragon Riders Veil. Peace out.